Hey, welcome to Tokyo Disney Sea. We have a lot of fun stuff planned today, so we'll be going in just one minute. My mom and I rushed straight to Journey to the Center of the Earth, which is on Mysterious Island. And the wait for that was only 30 minutes, so we skipped doing a fast pass and we just went right in. And I did that by myself. And um, it was really pretty, very beautiful, very well made. But there was like only one drop in one part where it goes fast and then it's done. I thought it was fun. Uh, if it, there's not a long wait, I think you guys should do it. But otherwise, I would skip it. If you like architecture, it's nice. So now we're heading to 20,000 leagues below and then we're gonna get a lottery for a big band beat. And let me show you this beautiful scenery because this park is gorgeous. The wait time for standby on 20,000 leagues below is only 10 minutes because it's a Thursday, I think. So there's not as big of a crowd even though the entrance was super duper crowded but right now we are heading right down to the ride so I will do a little interior shot and then a review and I will see you guys afterwards this park is so gorgeous I can't get over it like if you had to choose between Disneyland and Disney Sea I would definitely recommend going to Disney Sea and these are my little motion sickness fans I'm just too lazy to take them off right now okay Twenty leagues under the sea is so cute. The basis is kind of the same as the Nemo's one at Disneyland, California, but I would say, in my humble opinion, that this one is so much better. It shows a lot of different sceneries other than just like kind of Nemo's world, and then it has a, I'm not going to spoil it, but it has a lot of cool things in it and a lot of really good animatronics and just they built it so well and you, it's kind of like interactive as well you have a little flashlight that you can use to shine around the under the water scenery so right now we are he heading over to get our lottery for big band beat hopefully we get in there they have a couple of shows today but this is one of their most popular shows so we don't know if we'll get in But my mom is waiting in line for Big Band Beat because apparently if you get there for the first show, the show first show for us is at 12.15, it isn't by lottery and since the line is really short, since it's only 10.49, we decided to just get in the line. I just need to find us something to snack on. So once I find something, I will check back in and head back to the Big Band Beat Theater. Thank you Todd Terror for scaring me out of my wits. Okay, why am I out of breath? <laughs> We just got out of Big Bam Beat and it was spectacularly fabulous. It was so good. It is definitely worth the wait. We The show started at 12.15 and we got out at 12.50 so it was like 40 minutes maybe around that time. But it was so high energy, fast paced. The dancing was OMG amazing. Tap dancing, spectacular. I love tap so much. The Disney characters were part of it too and even they were tap dancing which I don't even know how it was possible. If you are planning to do shows here, definitely plan around going to that show because that show is so so good. I can't praise it enough. 
The singing was amazing. They had like four main singers and they did such a good job. And they have two main tap dancers. Amazing, 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 amazing. Okay, <laughs> now that I've finished singing my praise, we are trying to find a bathroom and somewhere to eat lunch. So I just ate at Yucatan Base Camp and Grill and it was pretty good. We got a baked chicken and a spicy baked salmon and uh, the chicken was really moist. I don't know if it's possible for it to be too moist, but it kind of was. Uh, the Spanish rice was really good though. So I would overall, I'd rank it as like a seven out of 10. Now we're gonna be heading towards Arabian. I forgot what it's called, the Arabian area. And I'll check in with you guys later. Since the adventure of Sinbad only had a 10 minute wait, we decided to hop on in there and take a ride. And it was actually really cute. I'm not familiar with the story itself, but it was kind of similar to It's a Small World where you're on a boat and you're going through the journey and they have animatronics and I really liked it. It was cute. If it has a short way, I would recommend going on it. Now we are in the Arabian kind of area. The architecture is beautiful, gorgeous. As always, that seems to be consistent throughout Disney Sea. And I'm gonna see what it has to ha offer. This place is We took a peek into Triton's castle because we were going to go to his concert, but it turns out they are closed for a temporary run or run <laughs> they're closed for temporary renovations. So we will not be doing that today it seems. Unless it's like the Monster Zing thing where it'll be open at like the end of the day, but I doubt we will go to it even if it is. So now we're leaving the aerial area. I forgot what this world is called, but it'll be called aerial area for now. Um, I'm not sure where we're going now. I think we're just wandering. See y'all soon. It is now time for my hotel high tower, tower of terror fast pass. I'm going in soon. The lighting is just really nice here, so I figured I would take a short video. <laughs> Tower of Terror has been conquered. I did wear my motion sickness bands, but you know what? It was fine. My stomach is a little bit up in my throat, but I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up or anything, and I don't feel dizzy, so I'm awesome, I'm great. I think it's exactly the same as the one in California, but the one in California isn't there anymore, so I wouldn't know. And I haven't been to the one in California in a very long time, so I don't know. I, I feel like it was shorter than I remembered it to be, but you know what? It may not have been. I, <laughs> as I said, it's been a long time since I did the California Tower of Terror. Okay, now we're heading over to the bay seating to see uh, if we can get to Hello New York. It's a show. It looks pretty busy, but we'll see if we can get in.
So we made it into the Hello New York show and it was very cute, very fun. It had all the main Disney characters, Mickey, Disney, Disney, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, Goofy, Pluto, Chip and Dale. And it was uh, very cute. It's not as extravagant as Big Bambi, but that's to be expected because Big Bambi is the big thing. I'm inside a building now. I'm actually inside the ship and we're going to uh, the Roosevelt Lounge. Um, I had a lot of fun at the show until I got pelted in the side of the face with an acorn, an inflatable acorn so hard that it knocked my glasses off of my face. And <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say it didn't hurt, but my nose is throbbing. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's my update. I'm going to see what the lounge... Oh, I think you have to go to dinner to go into the lounge, but it looks very nice in there. We're in the fortress exploring part now and it feels like a mix between Game of Thrones and Merlin. If you haven't seen Merlin, it's a BBC show and it's actually pretty good once you get past the first episode because the first episode has some iffy special effects. But then after that, the storyline gets really good and the special effects get better. I recommend it. But yeah, I feel like I'm on the parapet getting ready for the great dragon to come attack. Arthur, where are you? We need your help. Or what if Daenerys is coming? She's not crazy, I swear. There are no scorpions up there, Daenerys. Spare us. I promise I will kill Cersei myself. <laughs> no rocks will get to her while I'm around. Arya will be my sidekick. Gaius? Gaius, where are you? Merlin needs your help. Arthur's on the brink of dying again and Merlin doesn't know what to do. Gaius, where are you? We just got done eating at Cafe Portofino and it was really, really good. We actually got hot food for once. Not to say that the other meals weren't hot, but they weren't as hot. Like this was actually hot, hot. The other ones were like warm. It was so good, I recommend it. We got the seafood linguine something or other. But it was very good, I recommend it. We are now going to our last shops. We just did a whole bunch of shopping because we didn't get a lot of stuff at Tokyo Disneyland. But at Tokyo Disney Sea, I guess we felt pressure to get stuff for all our souvenirs. And we found a whole bunch of stuff that I guess we didn't see at Tokyo Disneyland. But now we have a whole bunch of things and I'll do a little mini haul. Hopefully I give all my souvenirs away before I post this. So we have the last shops now and then we'll be getting on the train and heading out. 
so I'll check in with you guys when we're done. Goodbye Tokyo Disney! So my prediction that I would be too tired to film once I got back to the hotel was correct. So I'm filming it at home. And this is, I'll do a haul of what I got at Tokyo Disney Sea. So the first big thing I got is this little tin. It is a tin of all the Disney characters in their clothes, Japanese style clothing, yukatas with fonts, and it shows all the different little lands around Disney Sea. It has Chip and Dale, Donald, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie, and then it has it around. Tins were really popular in Disneyland and Disney Sea, and then they have food inside. I think there are futakaki crackers in here, but this is a gift. Both of these, I got two of them. Both of them are gifts. And this is 1,250 yen, which is about like 1250. Depends on when you got your money exchanged, what the prices are. But yes, this is really cute. Um, we're gonna be keeping the tin and giving the crackers away. <laughs> but it's a really cute tin. And there are a whole bunch of tins, but I think this, this was our favorite tin that we wanted to get. And they're actually kind of, it's pretty big. Okay, so another thing we got at Tokyo Disney Sea are these little mats. They are really popular mats for sitting on. People had them whenever we were in lines and they and for parades. So they would unfold them and sit on them and stuff. And they aren't that big. It's like about the size for two people to sit on. So this is a plastic one. It's um, Minnie Mouse. And we got a Mickey Mouse one as well, which is just gray with different color Mickeys on it. And both of these are were about 700 yen, so $7. And then this one is seated, a seat mat as well, but it has a plastic on the inside and then um, felt on the outside. And this one's a lot bigger. And this was about 1,800 yen, so significantly more expensive than the plastic mats, but it's very cute. And this just has Mickey, it's the same pattern as this actually, only I think it's a little bit more classy because the colors are more subdued, but it's very cute. And most of the stuff we got are all gifts. Uh, this was the one tin we got as a souvenir because it was, oh, I forgot how to say it, Hanabata Days. Hana, I think it was Hanabata Days. Um, it's this little symbol there. So this is the little tin and it's a, t the celebration is you make a wish or you make a prayer and you tie it onto bamboo typically, but at the parks they had it on walls and stuff. And um, at the end of the holiday, they burn it or they um, release it and then that's supposed to make your wish come true. I'm not entirely sure on what the holiday is about, but I will put a little um, screen now that explains it more. This has Mickey and Minnie on it and then uh, Chip and Dale, which I think Chip and Dale are pretty popular over in Japan because they seem to be on everything. And these are little lemon can hard candies and this was 500 yen, so pretty cheap. thing we got are little soy sauce pans. They are very cute. It has Stitch on it. There were other ones with Alice in Wonderland. Um, Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory. But our favorites were the Stitch ones. We got mo the other variations for gifts. And then these ones are for us. And I think I already said this was soy sauce, little pans and stuff. They're so adorable. And they're ceramic, so not plastic. Very good quality. And this was 600 yen per piece. And they are machine washable. I mean, washing, ma wait, what? Dishwashing safe, um, microwave safe, and oven safe. They have little pictures on the back, so I hope that's correct. But yes, very cute. And on the back, it does say it's from Tokyo Disneyland or Disney. We got these at Disney Sea, but this says from Tokyo Disney. So very, very cute. And we got a whole bunch of those. And they very, they wrap them in bubble wrap very nicely. So that was nice for coming back home. But I messed that up <laughs> when I opened it. Okay, and these are the last things we got from Tokyo Disney Sea. So I am an avid pin collector, but pins weren't that popular in Disneyland, Disney Sea, and Tokyo Japan. Except they had some, but not a lot. But I got this Minnie Mouse pin for the Hanabata days. I hope I'm saying that right. 
and it's very cute. It's kind of big compared to the other pins I got, but it has Minnie Mouse with her yukata on. I hope it's a yukata. I don't remember what the other one is called, but she has an obi on it, so I think it's different. And with Sakura Blossoms and her little umbrella, very cute, and it has the classic Mickey backing. And this was 1,200 yen, which is about $12. The pins in Disneyland are usually more expensive than like pins you get other places, but um, as I said, I'm a pin collector, so I was willing to pay that much. And then another little pin we got is the classic uh, Walt Disney holding hands with Mickey Mouse, and at the bottom it says Tokyo Disney Disney Resort, and it's adorable. This one is actually for my mom. So she likes this one and I think I'll probably end up putting this on my lanyard since she doesn't have a lanyard to put it on. But this was about 1,000 yen which is about $10. So it was a little bit more cheap but not cheap quality if that makes sense. And then the last things we got are a whole bunch of pens with little bobbleheads on top. So these I got for my friends and um, my younger cousins. So it's a stitch with Mickey Mouse ears on it, and it has one, two, three, four options. So it has a blue pen, a red pen, a black pen, and then a mechanical pencil. And then they're replaceable, so you can refill the ink cartridges. And it says Tokyo Disney Resort on it, so that's a good memento. And this was 850 and so about 850 So there's a Minnie Mouse one. And a Mickey Mouse one. And they had a whole bunch of other ones like Genie and um, the Little Green Man. I'm trying to think of the other ones, but I can't remember. But they had a whole bunch of them, but those were the only ones we got for gifts. So that is all that we got from Tokyo Disney Sea. But it's basically from Tokyo Disney Resort. So we got a lot more there than we did at Disneyland. But this is all mostly gifts. We've got like only two things for ourselves. <laughs> we like giving gifts, okay? So yes. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me in Tokyo Disney Sea, and I hope it helps you plan your trip there or um, gives you the experience of coming along. I like doing a lot of research before I go on trips, so I found a lot of videos like this helpful, so I decided to pass on my experience to help other people who are going on. So yes, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys... Have fun, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week or the week after that. Bye!